All right, we're gonna get working on this uh, Briggs and Strat Model F first. Um, one of the biggest uh, challenges with this engine is gonna be the magneto. Uh, I think I mentioned in the in a previous video that uh, the magneto had an open secondary winding, uh, which was causing very, 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 very weak spark, if any spark at all. Well, I have the magneto here. Horseshoe Magneto, they're called. Um, took it off the back plate, which is over there, and I started to remove the um, the external, you know, um, friction tape, uh, cloth tape insulation that's on these magnetos to try to identify where the brake is in the winding. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. Here's the uh, the tab where uh, your spark plug wire would normally attach to usually sits right here the uh... see a little bit of um, green corrosion on that so it's it's had moisture exposure um... You get a flashlight and i'll show a couple points on the coil here where there is some moisture exposure and the insulation is beginning to break down. You can see right here where my thumbnail is. There's some green. Looking around, there's some green right here. There. Quite a bit of it right there. You may not be able to see this. One, two, three, four. That's all those are all places where the enamel on the wire has broken down and exposed just the bare copper and uh, corrosion has started to form. So those are all, can't be having any of that, you know. It's shorts, open, you know, it'll short between, you know, even before the, the coil went completely open, it might have been shorting between a length of winding, you know, that's 40 turns of wire which you know it's going to decrease your uh, total you know overall length and will decrease your spark uh, voltage so what I'm going to do here is you can see you know this this top layer of the winding is unusable um, you can see where when I in my removal of the um, the uh, uh, wrapping where I gouged it right along here with the razor. But that's alright because, you know, I knew this was going to have issues. So at least we're going to redo the top winding. Probably take it down, if not all the way, at least two or three layers. You can see there's the, this is the first layer right here. And there's a piece of wax paper. And there's a second layer right underneath there. And I'm not sure yet, but I, there's probably about five or six layers, five or six wraps of um, the secondary winding. So I, I believe it's number 30 wire. Yeah, I'll pull up a piece right here. You can't. Right there. That's the wire. That's your secondary winding. It's like a hair, hair thickness. So. Definitely take the first winding off, second winding, maybe the third, and we'll see how it looks. Now, of course, you have to count the number of wraps for each layer. All right, well, we're proceeding along with the uh, Briggs Model F uh, Magneto rewind. Um, got the first layer off or the, I should say, the final layer of the secondary off. And right now we're doing the, um, we've got the, it looks like you know, the second half of the first inside winding off. Um, I've exposed the wire, you can see right here, for the third winding in. I've uh, removed the enamel, and we're going to check the, uh, check resistance of what's left of the secondary winding to ground. Um, let me 
should see about about 3,000 ohms max. Let's see. No. Still wide open. No continuity at all. So that means that our break is still within the secondary winding. We haven't exposed it yet. But you can you can better see the uh, corrosion points that I was talking about. Let's see some there, there. There's a big spot right there. Maybe you can't tell in the video, but that's actually green oxidation, copper oxidation. So, I'm going to proceed on, removing the secondary. I'm making notes, of course, of how many turns are on the uh, each layer. I've uh, worked it out to about 84, 85 turns per half inch of winding. So that would make the final layer 257 turns. Um, the second layer in is about 400 turns and which way they are wrapped on the core. So, I'll keep you updated. Okay, well I've removed three windings now. Or, uh, three complete wraps of the core. And I've hit an area down here of really, really bad corrosion. So much that almost every, every other or every turn is uh, just breaking off right here just from corrosion from the damage to the wire itself there's a spot up here that was pretty bad right there right down here the lower part of the coil so it's pretty bad uh, I don't know how many more I'm gonna have to pull off but I imagine I'm gonna have to redo the entire secondary I'm not gonna be able to get by with just taking off a few coils I imagine I think I said in the front of the video there's in the beginning of the video there was uh, maybe six total uh, wraps um, it's probably closer to ten looking at the thickness of it so about uh, 400 turns per wrapping you know 4,000 turns of wire for the entire secondary is what I'm predicting but um, we'll see how it goes I'm still looking for a continuity if I find it, but if I do find it, I don't. It's going to be a hard decision just to make a splice and redo that. You know, a few turns of secondary instead of just redoing the whole thing. You know, looking at how deep into the winding we are and how bad the corrosion still is. So I'll keep you updated. Well, I've got the uh, Briggs Model F coil stripped down to its primary. There were 23 layers of secondary winding total. A lot more than I thought. This looks like uh, number 18 wire, the primary. I actually measured the diameter of the secondary it's a uh, 30 gauge, or no, not 30 gauge, sorry, 36 gauge wire. That's the secondary, 36 gauge. Uh, in total, uh, my best estimation is uh, that there were 9,550 turns of the secondary. So we'll just say it was an even 10,000. 10,000 turns of secondary. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of wire. So, next step uh, is to order the correct wire. And uh, certainly I don't I don't uh, like the idea of winding this by hand. Um, next is to make a, a mechanism to uh, 
make the winding a little bit uh, more efficient. I'd, uh, I don't know if I want to go with the original 36 gauge wire or if I want to go something maybe a little bit larger in diameter just for uh, just for strength and durability but uh, but still keep the the same amount of turns maybe I'll see what's available maybe go with something something a little bit larger maybe maybe a 34 or even a 30 gauge wire that's what I was thinking it was originally I'll have to uh, get the diameter of that 30 gauge wire and just see what the difference is that's where it's uh, the primary is grounded to this little tab right here that's grounded to the uh, horseshoe itself but yeah stay tuned